All right, faves. Fresh face and ready for bed. So, it's been a great Wednesday. I have no complaints. You guys, thank y'all for stopping by. Now, what this video is, is a recap of today. All of the things that I had I had going on and some of the people that I had it going on with. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. I'm not going to watch it with y'all because I'm tired, okay? But I am going to get it ready for you. So let me know what you think. Please drop a comment down below. And if you don't know, now you know. This is Faith Miss Renee. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll see y'all real, real soon. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away from chasing each fuel for the next day All I wanna hear is an episode that we play Sitting next to you, you Okay, y'all, here at Butler we are doing our sources of strength training day and i am so excited we got in here hey you're on camera hey hey miss a hey lizzie hey guys hello yes and y'all know miss rice already right yes we're getting ready for this training day i'm really excited We've already had a little bit of training ourselves, which was kind of cool. She took it down already, but. Okay, you guys. So what is SOS? Well, SOS is exactly what it says. Sources of strength. And it teaches young people how to adapt and cope with feelings of uh, being inadequate or depressed or wanting to self-harm or um, suicide it's basically a suicide prevention program but there's so many other things that it helps young people to learn about themselves and the community around them and how to outsource and resource their sources of strength i love it yes uh -oh, look she's filming <laughs> okay, so the chairs are in a circle to represent unity. And you guys, today was just so much fun and so much respect for each other. Okay, we did our strength run. Oh, this is good, y'all. Good, good, good. Lizzie, let me see that cross. Oh, yes. Good girl. Go ahead. So, you guys, throughout the day, there are just lots of fun activities um, that our trainer had planned for us. Um, makes the kids understand more about teamwork, team building. Um, again, what are their sources of strength? What do they do when they're faced in tough times? How do they get by? So much information and so much fun.
You guys, the kids are having so much fun. I'm sure they didn't really think it was going to be as fun as it was. But just really being active and coming together. And some of these kids aren't even friends, may not have even known each other. But because they are part of the club, that's what brings them together. And then, you know what? They also become a part of their own source of strength. I love this group. I love this school. This is the book for reading. Um, but truly, what we're going to talk about is how these strengths are showing up in our lives. And what I want to do is take the next few minutes and we'll chat. I want to start by saying family support can look so many different ways. It does not have to be the people that we live with. It does not have to be the family that we were born into. Family support can look like the family that we choose. Our chosen family can be really, really powerful. <laughs> so many activities you guys they are just having a ball look at them oh, hey. hey what's up what's up what am i supposed to say hi hi <laughs> say hey babe hey, hey babe. Babe. that's what's up <laughs> what could it look like on week one to do something that announcement maybe it'll be friday and announce nothing on week one, you can do a mural in the classroom. Y'all gonna work on that? Hey, y'all. So, I have been asked to come over to the Home of the Innocents this evening and do a speech or speak on unity. They are having a program tonight and asked me to come by be their guest speaker and they wanted me to talk about community and unity. I'm sorry, unity. So what comes to mind when I think of the home of the innocence and unity? I think the first thing that I think of is community. I think of community, I think how amazing the home of the innocence community actually is, how unique it is, how amazing the workers are, staff and residents, all of it as a community effort is truly amazing. I think about the community outside of the home of the innocence and how that community has really reached and poured out their love and compassion to those affected and or living as residents at the home of the innocents. So I believe that community-wide, there's unity. I think about how diverse home of the innocents is with whether you are black, white, brown, purple, yellow, green, there is compassion and love shown for and towards everyone. That's what I believe. What's going on, faves? Okay, you guys, I am up here at the Home of the Innocent. Today's fit, or this evening's fit, I don't know if y'all can see that all the way down. Anyway, I am here to be a guest speaker tonight. Um, not sure if this is for Black History Month, because Black History Month is over. I don't know. I hope it's not. But um, I'm going to, going to be giving them a little conversation about the word unity. So, the reason why we couldn't do uh, Wish Only Wednesday is because I'm still out and I'm still working tonight. So, hopefully next week. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm here. Ready to get this on, hopping, and done. Okay? <laughs> That's what it is. Absolutely heartfelt and beautiful. Oh my goodness. I 
love y'all. Love you too, Miss Bidet. Do you really know that I love you? Yes. Okay. Oh, that does my heart good. I'm going to operate a small business called Just Between Teens, which is also known as JBT. I facilitate group mentoring services. And for many years now, I've partnered with JCPS, residential facilities like Hotai, private organizations, and many local churches. So y'all, I'm finally back home. <sighs> the day is still not yet completely over. So hang on, hang on. Okay. Hold on. On my way to pick me and artist up some dinner because it is 6.34 and clearly I'm not going to get in the kitchen this late on a work night and do anything. I'm not cooking anything. Nothing. At all. From blank. Period. So I'm on my way to um, get us some food. Oh my god, you guys, we are out in the streets again. I plan. So, is it me or is everybody ready for spring and summer? Because, y'all, I'm ready to have hot granny summer, hot grandmommy summer. Hello. I'm just ready to be outside. I want to be in sundresses and sandals. I just want to be carefree. I want to take a few mini road trips. I just want to live a little, you know? I'm feeling very claustrophobic right now, okay? I guess that's the right word to say. Very stuck. Anyway, just feeling very trapped. And I just want to get out. I don't want to do nothing crazy or go no place very expensive or do any of that. I want to laugh. I want to maybe do some karaoke with my friends. I want to go get wings, eat uh, shrimp, and just enjoy Spending time with people I love. That's it. But, um, y'all, I see that tat and I be like, girl, you so tatted. <laughs> girl, you tatted. Oh my God, I love my tattoos. Anywho, y'all, I'm tired. And when I get tired, y'all know I start rambling. So just hold on a minute, for real. Okay, yeah, I'm home. Let me show you. Oh, these are called dumpster fries, y'all. And then I went and picked up some wings. So I'm getting ready to eat my dinner. Yum, yum. I'm going to try to come back on here. But I don't want to lie to you. I was going to say, Mama, Fave is tired, tired. And I got to get up and do all this again tomorrow. Different school, and I don't have any after school things to do, but nevertheless. So, just in case I don't come back, let me go on ahead and say goodbye for now. Y'all keep your heads up and your eyes open. I'll see y'all in the next video. It's something about the way you stare.